Now, chemotherapy has long been a standard of care for lung cancer patients whose tumors have spread, but it might not be the only or even the best option out there. Merck's immunotherapy drug has made impressive developments in the battle against non-small cell lung cancer. And the newest study involving this drug could make aminotherapy a key part of treatments. And joining us right now to explain this new therapy is Dr. Suman Banagrao, who is the medical oncologist at MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center and the Harry and Jeanette Weinberg Cancer Institute. This is, this is big. I mean, this is a monumental finding, don't you think? It is. It's, we've had chemotherapy for so long and not much development beyond that. So now, this is a big deal. So when has this been around, the, the immunotherapy? Immunotherapy has been around for about five years now for the treatment of cancer for melanoma, but not so much for lung. Uh, for lung cancer, it's not been around that long. It so was, what's it do, doctor? Immunotherapy actually activates the patient's own immune system and lets it fight the cancer. Let it, lets it fight the cancer? Yes. From spreading or does it stop it from spreading? The so, cells are bouncing all over the place? or Right now the treatment is approved for patients where the cancer has already spread. Oh. So these are patients who have advanced lung cancer, stage 4 lung cancer. So it's being used to help control the disease. You know, we were asking, right before we hit the air, I was asking the doctor when she started out in med school and now where, yeah, at the MedStar, uh, have you seen great advances? Yes, definitely. I was just telling you that in my fellowship, my professor argued that maybe we should not treat stage four lung cancer patients at all. And now we've made remarkable improvements. I will tell you, I have a patient now on immunotherapy on a clinical trial who's been receiving it for almost two years, and she's been doing fantastic. Unbelievable. You're saying that we're seeing cancer improvements every six months, there's something new coming down the pipeline, is that right? Yes, definitely. There are drugs that are targeted therapies. Immunotherapy's been a big improvement. We are seeing a lot of developments in cancer. So who is the perfect, can uh, who is the perfect candidate for something like this? For lung cancer, this, so for most cancers for immunotherapy, right now the treatment is in advanced or stage four cancers. It is being tested in earlier stages, but the approval is right now in, in stage four cancers. You know, we were asking about, you know, some of the symptoms, you know, when you should go see a doctor, of course, when you're, you're tired, what else? Tired, you're not, your you're lack of appetite. Anything that's different for smokers, if you have uh, a cough that's not going away, you think it's a chronic cough, but if it's worse than usual, if you start to cough up blood, if you have pain that's unusual. Yes, weight loss, fatigue are more common symptoms. Do you think this will spread from lung cancer to other cancers down the line? Absolutely. Uh, immunotherapy has been approved now for bladder cancer. It's been approved for Hodgkin's lymphomas. Oh, that's an exciting yes. time to be a doctor. Definitely. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us here and thank you for all the information. Keep us well, will you? Thank you. Thanks for having me thank here. Thank you, doctor. All right, let's take a look at weather. Here's Mike.